Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Prey. I said that I would have my next objective figured out. Uh, I lied. Didn't think about it at all. Let's see here. Uh, we gotta find Josh Dalton. Okay, I can use a security system for that. We gotta find Kirk Remmer. We still have this Talos smuggling ring going on. Uh, any set of drop points around Talos? I remember you have to tap with the wrench three times to get them to open, but I don't have any idea where they are. We still have to figure this thing out, and I'm very, very excited about that. I think this is going to be a fun quest. Find Kirk Remmer in life support. A crew member named Kirk Remmer may be in trouble, might be alive. So let's see if we can locate him with the security thingy. <clears throat> Uh, he is... I have no idea, actually, who he is. He's in life support right now, but that doesn't mean... Hello. Nice to see you. Is Maxine Ford the one who is in IT? Oh, well. Looks like I may not have a choice but to kill this weaver. It's now in a very inconvenient position. Okay, looks like it didn't have time to make any uh, cystoids. Okay. Yeah, it looks to me like Maxine Ford is indeed the one that I have repeatedly tried to find. Yeah, who's locked away in the IT security thing. Uh, I wish I had her transcribe number. Hey, I can make that. Look at that. It's incredible. Alright, what about... Who else needs... Who else needs help? Let's just go around and help people. Safe, 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 safe. Good stuff. Danielle show is still showing as nominal, but maybe weirdly bugged. Alex, you is nominal. Security in the cargo bay. All right, she should be safe. You know what? She's in the cargo bay. She's probably safe. I'll uh, I'll worry about her later, because I do want to go back to the cargo bay after I've rescued as many people as possible. Austin Cool is listed as nominal. Actually, these are the people that we saw in the. So I guess the people in cargo bay are listed as nominal. The people who are safe are people who got off the station, or I don't know. Igwe is listed as nominal, but we know he's in a safe spot. So yeah, maybe this isn't actually even useful because of uh, <clears throat> because of the people who are listed as nominal sometimes being safe in the first place. All right, uh, who else is though? Darcy Maddox. So who's that who has no... Carolyn Wheeler has... Okay, she's off station. Has been off station. Lucky for her. Harley Granger. Kevin Haig. What is the check mark? Harley Granger is also in the IT closet. Kevin Haig is not. Kevin Haig is in the cargo bay. Okay, no, he's probably fine. Uh, Maxine Ford, Morgan Yu. Hey, I know where Morgan is. Also in the IT closet. Man, there's a whole bunch of them in there. Sam Hertz in the cargo bay. Cargo bay. Steve Folson in the IT closet. What, are they having a party in there? Then in the power plant. Michaela is safe. Tommy Tamiko is safe. Tamiko? Tamiko. Is, is probably safe. She's in the cargo bay with everybody else. Okay, well... Easy enough. Kirk Remmer, right? Find Kirk Remmer in life support. Let's pull out a different gun so I don't have to keep seeing that animation and uh, being concerned that I'm about to click and lose ammo. Kirk Remmer. I wish that there were uh, alternative sorts available because this is kind of uh, not the best way to do this, probably. You know, I could have just been doing this while I was looking for all the people who are not yet safe. 
I guess. I suppose that's a real thing. And I also don't remember who the guy was whose bracelet I turned back on. Is this the guy, Kirk Rammer? In life support? Let's go down and see. Wait, I have a new transcribe? Is that correct? I can't hold L to listen. A bunch of stuff about the controls just like doesn't really work when you're in the elevator. Like, you can't have a weapon out. I don't have access to a lot of my buttons for some reason. Was there more? No? Okay. I don't know. It says new transcribe, hold L to listen, but holding L is not doing anything. <clears throat> I haven't picked up a transcribe in a while, have I? What was the last one? Also, I think it is mega clumsy that sometimes transcribes have multiple audio logs on them and you just have to hold L to listen. And then when the first one is done, you have to decide to hold L again. Like, there should be a much better system for handling multiple files per, uh, per transcribe. That's a really dumb way to do it. Okay. Well... I never did figure this out either. There's, there's probably nothing like terribly valuable in there. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Yep. Oh wow. There's even more stuff in here than there has been the last couple of times we've come down. It's like four or five greater mimics and an etheric phantom and a uh, and a fire phantom too. Is there a... Is there a good sneaky... What are you doing? He actually lowered himself so that he would be blocking me. What an asshole. I tried to crawl under him. And he was like, no, I'm not. I'm having none of that. Okay, let's employ stealth. Actually, it looks like there's an opening here. We're not even going to have to drop down to go through the doorway. Nice. Huh. I don't suppose there's any loot stashed up here. Okay. That was pretty slick. I'm pleased with myself. That maybe could have been a little smoother, that part. <sighs> Alright, so where is... That way. Can I see Kirk on my map? Like, where is it directing me to? Because the answer seems to be no. He does not appear to be on my map. Where is the... It turned off my objective. Okay, well, I guess I have to use a security terminal down here somewhere. Uh, there's that one. Which I can't get to. And... Is that really the only one in here? I don't even know level... Level B3? What? Okay. At the back of the water treatment facility, there's a thing that goes down. Alright. It looks like I missed an area, so I guess we'll, uh, we'll check that out. I have a lot of materials. Really a lot of materials. Alright, once we have enough shotgun shells, if there can ever be such a thing. How are we doing on... We're doing okay on those. 
How many Neuromods would it take for me to cap out all of the non-Typhon stuff? Uh, 18, 21. I definitely don't have enough materials to make 20 Neuromods. Uh, fabricated turrets are always friendly to you. Even if you're all hopped up on the, uh, the Typhon juice, I guess. Well... Yeah, we have a ton of disruptor batteries right now. Actually, I could use some QB melee. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just hold on to the rest of my materials. And auto-sort them. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I guess we're going to water treatment. Oh, I'm sure this room is going to be absolutely packed with enemies. There's at least a Voltaic Phantom. I think I saw an operator flying around up there, maybe? I should do this more often. Try to tag stuff with the, uh, with the scope. Maybe I could save on um, ammo a little bit. With a little bit of improvised ammo. Yeah, that's not gonna work. What? Oh, there's another Voltaic Phantom up there. Okay. Well, hold on. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's step outside. Try to bring him to the doorway. Are they gonna follow me? Kinda sounds like there's something behind me too. No, I guess I'm, guess I'm hearing things. Okay. Well, it looks like that Voltaic Phantom may, in fact, be coming to the door. Did he die? No. Now he's dead. Did that honestly not grab the attention of the other enemies in the room? Because I just discharged a shotgun half a dozen times. Can they not hear? Let's try to get a, a shotgun sneak attack on this one, because I'm real quiet now, and my sneak attack damage is all buffed up. Okay. Uh, let's kill this guy with the disruptor. Because I have a ton of ammo for it now. Actually, I might be able to just wrench this guy. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty effective. Okay. I don't think I looted you. Nothing of interest. What a shock. So this wouldn't have been active while the power was off. I'm sure that's why I didn't figure it out. Oh, no, wait. I came down here. That's right. I dumped the eel tank. Well, this just didn't appear on my map, or what? Huh. I could have sworn... Huh. Okay, well... When I looked at the map a minute ago, there was nothing drawn on level B3, right? Am I imagining things? That's true, all the eels have been harvested. I harvested the shit out of these eels. Okay, so I actually do just have to figure out how to get into that security station. Because otherwise I'm never going to be able to find this guy. He's probably in some really wacky location, right? Because otherwise it would be easy to find him. Yeah, alright. Well, I think I have to go up there and I have to kill everybody. I have to kill everybody up there, and we have to actually figure out how to get inside of that security station. Whew. This is gonna be... a lot of lost ammo. At least we know where a fabricator is. Should I Q-beam him? Q-beam works pretty fast. I don't know how well it uh, works on a Mimic. 
or a greater mimic, but I have to imagine it kills him, like, quickly, right? And yeah, I know, I'm not being perfectly efficient. I could be letting the, uh, the well-fed buff tick up a little bit more. Why don't we try Q-beaming? Uh, it could take, well, you know what, it's really easy to make shotgun ammo, though. Fairly easy. Anyway. Surprise! Yeah, it, like, it teleported onto me and then laid down a puddle of the goo. That's smart, but also very annoying. And that right there is the Fire Phantom. Uh, this might be a good time to... I don't want to wait around for the... Although, I can refresh the duration on my food buff. Let's go for... you. Sneak attack. Okay, what? At least one more mimic, right? I think I killed three. And I'm fairly sure I saw four. Uh, maybe... Maybe everything's cool. It's awfully quiet. I think there's one more. Oh, do I think that Kirk Remmer could be out there? Maybe he's in the breach. Oh, this isn't a breach area. What am I doing? Alright, uh, let's try to get into that security station, shall we? Come on. You know I'm not contaminated. Alright, so what's the deal with this? This is service requests. Now, when I got in here before, it didn't seem like it was particularly meaningful. I'm wondering if maybe I missed something, because like this is the kind of place where I might expect there to be a keycard or... This email has nothing of value in it, right? Yeah. Picture of friendly aliens. So far I have not I have not found a lot of areas. It looks like there is nothing of interest behind these. I have not found a lot of areas where I just didn't have any option to get in. But also the number of areas where I have no option to get in is not zero, right? I think I've I found one or two places where the only way in was through one of those uh, broken slat doors. I don't know why it has to be so creepy in here. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Let's double check. Oh yeah, you. Yeah, whatever. Double check and make sure I looked at everybody here. I totally didn't. What the hell? Oops. Come on. Well, now I have the code for that. This is what I think of you. You're making creepy music at me. Okay. Yeah, so obviously I could, I could get in probably by mimicking something and crawling through here, maybe. But there's got to be another way. Ah, uh, there's emails on there, too. Alright, let's take a look in here. The area around here has to be the key, right? Huh. Where am I above right now? That's interesting. I'm above a thing that doesn't open? Oh wait, maybe this is one of those... Nope. Huh. 
It's weird that it's marked, like it has a name, which usually signals interactability. Yeah. Huh. Alright, let's be really, really thorough in here. It's weird that your face got glued. Key card B. It's not up on the vent. Yeah, I don't know. This this bathroom area doesn't seem to have a lot of value to it. Man, I sure hope that it's not the case that the problem I'm having here is that uh, I read a thing, you know, ten hours ago that told me where to find the key card, and I'm just not not being able to figure it out now because it's been such a long time since I read it. Uh, can I look up here? Nothing. Still nothing. And unfortunately, the door is designed... Or the door is placed such that I cannot use my favorite trick. I actually... Hmm. Do you think... These bounce, don't they? They do. Huh. They do bounce. Do you think I could, uh... Here, we can try it once or twice, right? I have nine bolts. I'm trying to drop down right here. You know what, let's... Let's put out the fire. It's making me nervous. There's no way I can even see where the door is, though. So I can't, I can't calculate an angle of this. Alright, what other tools do we have available to us? Uh, an EMP is not going to force the door to open. Best case scenario is an EMP uh, just completely makes the door inoperable for a little while. Uh, I don't think I have any tricky stuff that's going to let me access this door. I could potentially open it with spooky powers, right? If I like brought a coffee cup or something over here, and then coffee cup rolled through the entrance. But I need to get into that security console to be able to track Kirk Remmer the way I want to. And there's no other... It looks like there's no other security stations in this area. I'd have to cross a loading screen to get one, and it looked like crossing the loading screen uh, deleted my person track. It shouldn't be the case. Hold on. Let's verify that that was actually the case, because I'm like, a, I'm almost 100% sure that I have crossed a loading barrier while maintaining a track. Let's, uh, let's just verify. This seems strange to me. Maybe I did something else that caused him to become untracked. Maybe this isn't really my problem. But damn it, we're gonna figure out how to how to complete all of these all of these little storylines. So I wanna see all the stuff. Oh, maybe it's using the elevator that killed it? Because I could come through without going through the elevator. away from the lobby to life support without using the elevator. Let's go to the, uh, the console in 
security should be sufficient, right? Please tell me no more respawns. I was just here, I just left. Alright, uh... I do not remember... Yeah, it doesn't say on here. Actually, what, is, what does it do if I click view on map? It just says life support. That's helpful. Uh, I don't remember what section he was assigned to already. Okay. His bracelet is pinged. Now we get in the elevator. Maybe the fact that his um, his current status is listed as just dashes makes me wonder if maybe they just like maybe this is just not the right way to do this. Okay, so I still have the tracking objective. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that this is where it disappeared last time. Humans rescued from Typhon Mind Control will eventually wake up and make their way to safety. Yeah, that kind of seems to be the case, but I'm still curious about that dude that was locked in that cell. Alright. Come on, we were just here. I know you can do it. Yeah, that deleted my thing. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Ah, it was Grant Lockwood's tracking bracelet that I reactivated. Huh. Based on some messages I overheard, is there any chance that I could uh, easily... Man, this is another place where a search function would be really useful. Officer this is, Jack, this this is, is Chief Elazar. Ja here, Chief. How can I help you? I need you to that report didn't do to what Deep it said Storm. It would do. Get Chief Show to reactivate the tracker on Grant Lockwood. HR deactivated it as part of the termination, but we don't have a record of him on the departing shuttle. I want to know where he is and escort him where he needs to go. On it, Chief. Team, talk to me. We've had enemy contact, but the enemy... They should have held position in the cargo bay. I couldn't, Chief. I couldn't let those people... Can you get to the escape pods? Negative. The escape pods are malfunctioning. It's like they're locked in place. Only four of us made it to life support. Five. I'm picking up Remmer behind you. Negative. Remmer... Remmer isn't Remmer, Chief. These things... Chief, the main lift, it isn't working. We're locked out. Oh my god, Remmer, Remmer's here. Stay away, Teague. stay away. Teague, Erica, respond. Uh, a crew member named Kirk Remmer may be in trouble. No, that's not what that message said. I didn't remember that that was, uh, that that was Kirk Remmer there. Oh, interesting. I uh, didn't notice this. Well, let's disarm it. I wish we could just recycle the damn door. So Kirk Remmer is a phantom, I'm assuming. That makes finding him like a little bit less interesting for me. I've killed, you know, dozens of phantoms down here. I don't know that finding and killing Kirk Remmer is necessarily going to be valuable. Wait, is that one mimic that's still down here? Moving around and threatening me? Is that what I'm hearing?
Yeah, I mean, what I get from that is is not that Kirk Rever is in trouble, but that he is converted into a bad guy. So this goes out to the cargo bay. You know, honestly, I want to go to the cargo bay and talk to people anyway, make sure everybody's cool. Yeah, let's do that before I scour life support and end up on the other side of it. But it sounds to me like uh, Remmer's tracking bracelet may not actually be useful. And the uh, the dashes representing his status make a little bit more sense now. Because if his tracking bracelet is still with his body, then it's inside whatever... You know, whatever it is the Weavers do to make phantoms, uh, it has that had that done to it. All right, the cargo bay should be... This unpowered door is also locked. The cargo bay should be pretty safe, I would imagine. Did I search this cooler? I did not. Man, how much stuff did I miss that's like high up in the stacks? Oh, whatever. Let's, uh. Glad you got the lifts working. Next stop, the Arboretum, huh? Lower the shuttle bay? Okay, that's very helpful. Huh. Okay, where is everybody? Just making sure that I haven't missed anything meaningful here. We made it. Maybe now we can take back the rest of Talos. Yeah, it would be With cool, With the lift actually. operational, we could start taking back the station. Wait. Wait a minute. Darcy Maddox? I just put this together. No sign of any Typhon activity. Beginning to sweep the area. Darcy Maddox is, uh... I, I thought we were dead for sure. Darcy Maddox's tracking bracelet was... So in the IT closet, there's probably just a bunch of tracking bracelets, not, uh... Not actually any people. Even if we're dead, it won't be over. We'll still be at their mercy, like Enoch. Like the others. That's probably true. Not to bum you out or anything, but I think you're right on there. Well, okay, so I guess there's... Whoa. All of a sudden, things have gotten weird and... Slow. Huh. And just as soon as it began, it ends. Is it over? Are there any more? That was weird. I was clearly looking at too much of that coral. Alright, well this has been a tremendously unproductive episode so far. Except that I have figured out that uh, Darcy Maddox's tracking bracelet is a goddamn lie. Alright, well, if I don't have a strategy for finding Kirk Remmer, I'm wondering if I should even go for this, or if I should maybe instead um, keep pushing the main plot forward. We could just go to the nearest airlock, go outside and scan the coral. Yeah. Maybe. Where is the nearest airlock? Let's, uh, let's see where the airlock in life support is. Because I can kind of do both, right? I can, I can look for Remmer while I'm on the way to an airlock that is in this area. Um, are they marked on the map, really? I mean, we could also go uh, to the guts. Because we definitely also have to find the guy in the guts. Alright, well, we've been pretty thorough in this area. Let's head down here. Uh, I can go upstairs in water treatment and look for Remmer a little bit more up there.
This is the plant. Yeah, this is a power plant through here. Really, life support's not, not that large of an area, I guess. Alright, yeah, let's go upstairs. Have a look around these rooms. There aren't too many places that, uh, that Remmer could be. Yeah, man, repairing turrets and fortifying them and stuff just seems to be like a huge waste. Wait a minute. Uh, well, I just got credit for investigating one of the maps when I definitely did not do that thing. I'm pretty sure I'm clear. Uh, Harden Baffles map, huh? This is Shadow Corner. I don't remember their full names. Roslyn Swift. Stabfellow. Harden Baffle. Oh, Harden Baffles flagged Asterisk's map was in an email, right? How long ago was that? Oh, wait, it couldn't have been. Here we go. No. But I found the I found the map quite a bit after I found this email, didn't I? Shoot. Am I looking right past it or something? Rogue operator. No subject. No, it wasn't this. Damn it, these things need a search function. Maybe I found the map after, or before this, after all. I could have sworn it was after. But it kind of looks like I can't find it. Well, I'm not going to be able to, um, so it's like right here when I found it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to enter the code if I can't find the number that was supposed to be provided by this map. All right, yeah, this is Price Broadway, the alcoholic guy who died to eels. The station gets overrun by crazy aliens. And he manages to somehow get killed by getting locked in the eel tank. This shit is embarrassing. Well, this has been a great episode so far of me, like, desperately looking through menus. I don't see anything that is, like, obviously a number or... What, what on earth is this map leading to? Actually, can I... Using the treasure hunt thing, or the, yeah, this. Hard Raffles map leads to the digit three. Boy, it sure didn't, but I'll accept that. Uh, this way. This way, for more searching for Remmer. to search like every nook and cranny of this place because I felt like I was real thorough when I was here before. But apparently not. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. And... There's a walkway over here that leads up to this walkway. Huh, can this be opened? No. Well... I feel fairly confident that Kirk Rimmer is not in water treatment, unless he is 
jammed himself good and thoroughly inside one of these tanks. This is the way we entered water treatment the first time we were here. But I guess... Oh, I am stuck. Okay. I guess this leads to a walkway, right? It could be on that walkway. Or at least a clue to his whereabouts could be on that walkway. Something I missed. Oh, Kirk Remmer, who is definitely a phantom, come out and play. Nope. Nothing. Well, I'm probably missing something incredibly obvious. I guess maybe it's time to stop worrying about it. Because of the tedium. I will, uh... I'll maybe look around the station a little bit. Off camera. Let's see if I can't figure it out. I would really like to get into the security room. And I also feel like getting into the security room would basically solve the problem. Hey. Who's leaving behind all these glue canisters? This is really... Uh, did I really miss... Ah, there you are. Oh, there's two of them. I'm just... You know... I'm just fed up is all. Okay, that's actually, that's true. This is an area of life support that I have not been that thorough about. And you know, I couldn't figure out the purpose, actually. I couldn't figure out the purpose of atmosphere control uh, before, right? I'm just gonna, yeah, you know what, let's glue him first. Yeah, maybe the whole purpose was I was supposed to find Remmer's Phantom in here? I couldn't get the Atmo control to cycle. Because that fan was stuck in a permanently broken position for some reason. Maybe we can get this figured out now. Okay, let's go for it. This is probably the answer. Alright, so there's a fire phantom over there in the other control room. Huh. Yeah, I guess this is an area where I was not very thorough. Three, two, three, five, two, seven. I could have sworn. Huh. I really thought I had already grabbed that note. Because I remember going... Uh, I remember trying to figure out where the supply room near the grav shafts was, and then figuring out that it's just uh, the supply room I had already gotten up into. Because I had hacked the door. Okay, so there's nothing else up here. Yeah. I think I've been pretty thorough on this side. That fan is still broken. But it's not jammed. There's nothing in it. There was something in it. I took the thing out. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll interrupt the fan controller and head down there and uh, do the thing in a minute. Let me make sure the area is clear first. When they're laying down, um, they seem to take very little damage from being shot. Even if you get, like, sort of over them, 
so that the firing profile is not all that different. This, this has to be where Kirk Rever is. He's in there. Gotta be, right? And then we couldn't initiate decontamination because of the fan. Okay, yeah, it must be. Must be. It's the only thing I can think. Okay, so how do we get the key card? is, even if I could stop the fans, and then initiate, or uh, fix the fans, and then initiate decontamination, how would that help? What would the actual benefit of that be? Because my, my current uh, feeling is uh, nothing. They would, they would not do anything useful. But I mean, it must. It's the only thing that... It's the only thing that's left. Okay. Apparently that patch of fire cannot be stopped. Alright, well I guess let's go around and... Hey, fan. Get fixed. Let's go around, we'll stop the fans, we'll jump down there, we'll see if we can't, I don't know, whatever the equivalent of jiggling the handle on a fan is. Because uh, there was a thing in it, right? And we took, we knocked the thing out. Maybe if I could, it thinks the, it thinks that piece of metal is still jammed in there, right? But I can't find the piece of metal. It's so far from being in there. Alright, we have to not be here when these start up again. Yeah, shoot. I do not know what to do here. I mean, I kind of, like, if we could just jostle it, if we could just make it realize that it needs to move. Here, we'll, we'll shoot physics at it. That didn't work. Unbelievably, that did not work. I think this quest might be broken for me. Or at least this, this fan is broken. Also, I'm really surprised that you can't just, like, ride the gusts of wind. Okay, so let's try to figure out what the intended method for doing this is. It may be that, um, maybe this fan is irrelevant. Maybe we're lucky. Maybe we are that lucky. Alright, uh, thanks to Divya for maintaining the decontamination chamber doors. Found four months without having to flush the air from the subsection. Maybe I should try to find Divya? It could just be that this keycard is on somebody's body somewhere, right? I mean, it might be in that security room, to be perfectly honest with you. And if it is on Divya's body, uh, then what we want to do is get in the security room and figure out where Divya's body is. Ugh, a frustrating time in life support. Alright, well, I think I've hit a little bit of a dead end here. I'm going to have to reevaluate and come back. So. Let's go do something else. Let's, let's try to be productive somewhere. Well, let's make sure that I didn't, like miss anything really dumb back here. I think I've looked back here before a couple of times, so... It would be pretty surprising at this point. Alright. I guess let's go to the outside. Uh, where's the nearest... Where is the nearest airlock? What would be the best way to get to an airlock from here? Actually, we could go back to the cargo bay and see if we can go out through the, uh... Through that shipping container that we used to get in when we saved Igwe, right? Let's see if that's available to us. 
Because it should be, I would think. Go out on the side of the uh, on the side of Talus One and maybe actually get something done. So this episode is a total waste. A single mimic can quadruple itself after killing a human. That's it's interesting flavor text. I don't know that it actually comes up during the game. We aren't finding a lot of people and mimics in the same place. Mostly when people are around, it's like telepaths and stuff. You know, I will say that I have maybe not been the most thorough in the cargo bay. Maybe there's something interesting in the cargo bay that we've missed. Definitely hostiles. I can hear that. But I don't have any particular interest in fighting with them. Uh, I was pretty thorough in this area, because I was like, uh... I was certain there was loot. What is going on? Oh shit, that's the nightmare. Oh, Jesus. Hey, pay attention to me! Ow. Okay. I'm going to take a look over here. Yes, go ahead. Feel free. Did it kill anybody? Oh, it did. Shit. Shit, man. I don't see anything yet. We lost another one. All right, we are. We are costing people lives. Come out. By not getting this done. I do think it's super weird that Darcy Maddox is alive and in this section of the ship, though. Potentializer. Eh, you know what? We don't need to change any of this stuff. Okay, so... Igwe's container is this one. Okay, I did... I think I did look over here. That's right, I looked in here and then I figured, oh, we'll, we'll find a way through later. But I didn't actually ever do that. too much stuff. Uh, I guess I'm at pretty poor health. Let's eat a bunch of food. Hey, Lace. This is Gus down in Cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any Reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine? What does it do? Well, what I'm does not it sure. Do? I was hoping that you could tell me. <laughs> Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. <laughs> you obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't order any Deployer. Reployer. Ask somebody in engineering. I'm asking everyone. No one orders or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. 
Okay, well, you know what? I'm a little bit comforted that I'm not the only person who doesn't know what the hell these things are. Uh, let's get... I'm tired of this station, and I'm tired of this crisis, and I'm just going to get super drunk and wait for the Earthlings to come and save us. Alright, what is this? You know, it seems like basically anybody could have come and done that. Is that it? Is that all that there is to do in here? Sure looks like it. Okay, now the doors are powered, but they still won't open. What did, what did that actually do? I guess now these will open, whereas they wouldn't before. I have a full stack of Typhon lures, do I? Alright, let's, uh, I guess I'll just dismantle some stuff. Not that I need the parts, but it lets me get some value out of the pistol instead of just dropping it. Okay, uh, that one was already open. I was just curious what it would do, uh, and apparently what it will do is electrocute the hell out of me. Okay, well that was fun. Let's get out there and do some do some work for Alex, who is definitely trustworthy. You know, honestly, he still might he still might be in the right. We have too many different possibilities for what is going on. We've got to start eliminating some of this stuff, which means learning something. Come on, you can do it. I think they can just fold this into the loading Micro time. Gravity detected. Okay. I've been thinking about the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan. But why? Just because it came first? If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose, or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? I get it. You have to decide. Uh, okay, so... Where? What am I doing? Where am I going? What's the, what am I doing here? Scan the coral in the exterior. View on map. Right, I don't have a map of the exterior. Uh, where is there coral on the exterior? There's coral on the shuttle. I don't know where that shuttle is. That's weird. Sometimes I get up to full speed with my uh, boost, and then it immediately resets me to zero. I'm actually having trouble maintaining high speed because of it. Oh, there's some coral. Well, clearly it wants me to scan particular areas of coral, but it's giving me no indication as to what those areas look like. The fact that I can only see with these green... Hold on. I'm going to turn off my objective markers. 
Because the fact that I can only see the green dots if they're not anywhere near an airlock is actually really frustrating. Okay, so that's all stuff that I knew about already. Where are my actual objectives? There we go. Just needed to eliminate a little bit of visual noise. Now everything's good. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Okay. Huh. Man, there really is a lot of this stuff now. That's a weaver. Uh, we should definitely go deal with that. I do not want to have it sneak up on me while I'm working. Just making sure that I am uh, clear here. Are you heading it? Hard to tell. I mean, no, I'm not, because it would be alerted. There it is. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, boy, the range on those things is a little bit dumb. Oh, yeah, I actually outranged one for the first time ever. There we go. Alright, so if we wrap around here, this should be right, I think. I uh, would rather use the disruptor for this. lost sight of it in the first place, obviously. Okay. A medical operator, uh, a busted up medical operator, usually has a med kit inside. Okay. Where's my node? Over here. Oh boy, okay. Oh, shit. Well, maybe not, uh, maybe not everything is fine. It's possible that there are things that are not fine. I guess it makes sense that the, uh densest parts of the coral would be covered by multiple weavers because you know where's the coral coming from right there we go uh, this might be a good time to employ a pistol there's weavers like right or yeah cystoids rather right over here I hate these things so much Stop, Morgan. Stop floating around. Okay. This is the node right here. Ooh, wow, that is something. More specimens required. Just 
one more to go. Air fairy. No. Nothing that interferes with memory formation. Search complete. That was January he was talking Excellent to. Excellent work. All that's left is integrating the data after you upload it. Hard to tell from just a scan summary, but... Wait. What is... There's some kind of neural trip wire built into the coral. Christ. Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. All right. All right. I don't know. This seems like it, you know... I, first of all, what the hell is he talking about? Some kind of neural tripwire. Alex, do you think that you're expressing actual thoughts with your words? Or are you just trying to sound like you're speaking cool dialogue from a movie? Because I have no idea what the hell you were trying to express to me. I'm trying really hard to reverse my upward momentum here. Alright, let's just, let's just lay on the brakes a little bit. Jesus. All right. Well, we looked around the station a lot. Suit integrity oh, what can I... There, okay, there's like a tiny... I hit my legs on a thing. Oh. Good, of course there's cystoids all over the door I need. Damn it, die. Well, I don't actually need them to die, I guess. I just need them to not be where they are. Yeah, I don't even care about that mist. Let's just get inside. We'll figure this out later. Oh, hey, supplies. I love supplies. Okay. Well, yeah. We got a little bit of productive stuff done. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Come back next time, you guys. I'm going to... Well, I, I won't do it before next episode, but at some point here, I'm going to spend a little time off camera just looking around and uh, trying to figure out these treasure maps and stuff. So come back next time to see exactly what Alex's greater plan is. And we'll see you then.